It, it, it seems that sometimes the more elaborate or colorful or luxurious fabrics of a given culture equate with higher social status or wealth. Um, it did, did you ever find it was the case that people could sort of, um, how do I put this, sort of ascend the ladder socioeconomically by becoming a better craftsperson at what they did? No, I didn't find that. Are you talking about people who are making their own clothes and improving their status by right. becoming like better artisans? Becoming better artisans, but perhaps wearing nicer clothing. More sumptuous more clothing. More sumptuous clothing, almost putting on airs. Uh, did that, did you ever... <laughs> I know it's a bit of an oddball question, but it just occurred to me that, you know, who, who, who makes these really nice fabrics for, for the wealthy? In, in these cultures and, and you know, well it's not just... uniform you know I've collected in Europe and North America and South America and Asia so it's we can't really have an answer that covers all those places mm -hmm. in Japan for example I very rarely had clothes directly from the maker Japan became urbanized long since, and they developed a very sophisticated distribution for the handmade kimono textiles, which meant that very seldom did the ultimate client meet the maker of the kimono fabric. Can you speak a little bit about that, that distribution and how, how, how it worked? In the um, Edo period, the members of the court had to come to the capital for six months of the year and go back to their home turf for another six months of the year. And during this period, they had to dress well in both places. Goods became, began to move, and they moved with the people. Uh, production centers were established, such as Kyoto, but other other centers for other types of production. The railways came in in the late 19th century that started moving people and these same big railway companies put in department stores at the hubs of their railways and developed a consumer, captive consumer society. These department stores were owned and operated by railway companies? Yeah, in, in the case of Japan. So uh, it's quite a different tra tra trajectory. Yeah. It's not like uh, localized village production, which you have in some of the other places where I collected textiles.